two mercenaries? I didn't even know that was possible, man. I didn't know you could have two of the same character, but two mercenaries? They're dead. She's floating. Plus one. That's great. That's great. Dude, she's flying. Wow. She's like a dream witch number one. Damn, she's fast. What? She's super fast, which to me tells me that it's not really like a stealth game. I got disrespected. Visually, this character looks sick. What are those? Are those like snake hair? Tentacle hair? Lively hair? And she's water themed. So we are going back to the like supernatural field. What the fuck? Deep sea creatures will rise from the abyss. This reminds me of this Dead by Daylight endgame thing that happens. That when the exit gate is open, there's a time before which the survivors need to escape or else a creature will just devour them. This is what it reminds me of. So this character is a sea-based character. Um, so we're going into the elemental field. One thing to be careful is, if we're gonna make an elemental character, we have to make sure that it stays in the horror team, which is like the team of this game. Every hunter is like based on the horror team. This is gonna be annoying. I think she's a beautiful character. Like maybe there's something extra that they could do to make her... I don't know. So she can throw her harpoon, however, her harpoon doesn't do damage. Nothing that she does, from what I understand, does damage. She's very mobile, she moves fast, she cannot attack while the harpoon is there. And the only purpose of the harpoon is to allow her to swim faster and to leave a puddle in its wake. So when she drops her harpoon, she can then use her second ability, which allows her to swim even faster again. Her abilities don't do damage, they simply add a condition, a meter on character that is called Abyss. No story, Humidity. I don't know how I feel about her being able to go that fast, you know? Because then we're removing like a stealth factor from this game. Just like with the undead guy. Wait, he eats damage? Okay, well that's basically the creatures killing him and stuff. Here's my issue design-wise too. It's called Darkest Depths. Abyss. If you ever saw like the footage of the deep sea, man. The deep ocean. I don't really think that this is convincing you know when you think about the deep sea you're thinking about blackness you're thinking about uh, low visibility you're thinking about the dark this this is not an abyss i'm sorry this is like a puddle it's a simple puddle it's as if something rained over if you want to be charitable you could call it like uh, little hurricanes little whirlpools but I, i'm not really thinking about the abyss I think you either have to change the word or change the physics. I think you need to change the physical. Damn, there are fishes! It's very cool. It's very cool the fact that you feel like you're going super fast. The issue I have with it again is we're losing like a, a scary factor, a stealth factor into this game. It becomes more a game of, oh, I have to avoid him. I feel like it adds an extra dimension to the game. It's like we're going out of the roots. I don't know if it's a good thing, I don't know if it's a bad thing. I'm just concerned, you know? I'm just concerned about how far will it go. Like, with that Will Brothers that I, by the way, haven't seen him recently. But the Will Brothers, they give me the same concern. It just feels weird. Like when a hunter can't find a survivor that easily by just going around super fast, like it it just concerns me a little bit of how far can this thing go? And are we not branching out from like the root of this game? It sounds abstract, but it's just something that I think good to mention. I have mixed feelings, but I do wanna play her. I totally wanna play her. Huh? 
So they're saying deep sea creatures, they mention it here. However, I'm like a fan of don't tell, show. And I don't really see anything that's like deep sea creature. Like I wish they could make it like scarier, man. If you could actually show like, I don't know, like little ugly fishes with those teeth, man. Just going at you out of nowhere. We have tentacles in this game that spawn randomly at random places. We could have another visual such as some fish or some deep sea creature just biting at you from the ground out of nowhere. That would add up to the scary factor. That would make this character feel more scary, you know? And they could make this water more scary by making it darker, blacker. Then we would get the darkest depths, abyss feels. Like I said, she looks cool, I like her model, but to me she just seems like an elemental character, like she controls water. Oh,